Hello, I'm Benjamin Sullivan, and welcome to another episode of Ben's Tech Support. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can access the data on your older computer hard drives using a USB SATA adapter, and I'm going to show you why your adapter might not be working and how to fix that. So let me start by showing you a couple different hard drives that I have. This is a three and a half inch desktop hard drive. It's a mechanical hard drive, meaning there's a spinning disk inside. This is a laptop mechanical hard drive, two and a half inch, also HDD. So it's also mechanical, meaning it has a spinning disk, just like this one. They're built the same way, just different sizes. And then this hard drive is a solid state hard drive. Solid state means there's no moving parts on the inside. Now notice how the solid state drive and the laptop mechanical drive are physically the same size. And then you'll notice that the desktop hard drive is larger in size. So first thing I'm going to show you is that all three of these drives have the same type of connector. Let me get closer to the camera. Like you can see here's the, here's the desktop hard drive, here's the laptop hard drive, and here's the solid state drive may be kind of hard to see, but they all have the same type of connector. They're all SATA drives. Now chances are you probably have hard drives just like these that came out of your older computers and you want to be able to connect them to your new computers in order to access the data using a USB adapter, right? Did you happen to buy a USB SATA adapter on Amazon and for some reason it's not working on this type of hard drive? Well I know exactly why and I'll explain. So first, let me show you, this is the adapter right here. You'll notice that it's USB on one end and it's SATA on the other end. So if I were to take this solid state hard drive, one end of the adapter connects to the hard drive, and then the other end is USB. You just plug it into a USB port on a computer and then you can access the data that's on here. So if you bought one of these, chances are if you used it on this type of hard drive, or on this type of hard drive, everything was just fine, right? But, if you tried to use it on this type of hard drive, it probably didn't work, right? And if that's the case, I know exactly why, and I'm going to show you how to fix that. But let me explain what the problem is. The reason it didn't work with the desktop size hard drive is because this type of adapter is designed to only work with solid state drives and laptop size hard drives. Now you're probably wondering, well all three hard drives have the same connectors, right? So the adapter physically fits on all drives, right? So doesn't that mean it should work on all the drives? Not exactly. Let me explain why. The reason it doesn't work with a desktop hard drive is because this adapter is USB only, which means it doesn't give off enough power to power the motor inside that spins the discs. And if you're wondering, well, it works on the laptop hard drive, that's because the laptop hard drive is smaller, so it has a much smaller motor and doesn't require as much power. So with a laptop size hard drive, because the motor is so much smaller, it gets enough power from USB that you don't need external power. But a desktop hard drive requires more power than what a USB port can put out, so therefore, if you're just using this adapter that plugs directly into USB, it's not getting enough power to make the motor spin. So you're probably wondering, well then how do I fix that? Well the answer is, using this adapter, you can't. However, there are other adapters that do exist that require an outlet that do work, and I'm going to show that to you right now. So notice I have this kind of adapter. And notice how it does have SATA connectors on it. That's right here. There's a SATA connector on the end, and then there's a cable that plugs into a USB port on the computer. So you would attach your you would attach your desktop hard drive here and then plug this into a USB port on the computer. 
and then you would plug this into an outlet either on the wall or in a power strip and that will give your hard drive enough power for the computer to access it through USB. Let's go ahead and test it out. So first, allow me to demonstrate. Here's the USB adapter, and here's the laptop hard drive. So notice how I can plug it in, and then I'm going to connect it to USB, and the computer is going to detect it. You hear that? And a window popped up letting us know that there's data on the drive. I'm going to go ahead and eject the drive. And now, let's see what happens when I try to use the desktop drive. So the adapter physically fits, but then when we plug it in, nothing. It's not spinning, the computer didn't detect anything, and that's because we need more power. So I'm going to show you the right type of adapter you need to, to get data off of this type of drive. So here's a different type of SATA to USB adapter, and this is the kind that will work with a desktop hard drive. So let me show you how it works. Notice how right here on the side we have SATA connectors. That's where we will attach our hard drive, and then there's two cables that come out of it. This one is the USB cable that we plug into the computer, and then this one is a power adapter that we will plug into a power strip. So let me show you right behind me. I've got a power strip. So let's go ahead and plug this into the power strip. Okay, so it's plugged in, and now that it's plugged into power, I'm going to go ahead and take the desktop hard drive and connect it to the adapter, just like this. Okay, so now it's connected, so we'll lay it on the table, and now take the USB, and now we'll take the USB cable and plug it into the USB port. And now this adapter actually does have a little switch on it, a little power switch. So let's hit the power switch to turn it on and let's see if the computer detects it. So we'll lay it down and hit the power switch. I hear it spinning. And there we go. Did you hear that little doot doot doo doo? So there we, there we are, a window popped up with all the information. So now you know that if you want to be able to access data on a desktop hard drive, you need to make sure you use a USB adapter that requires external power. Well, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. If you like what you see, please subscribe. More videos coming soon. Have a great day, everyone.